Hi, I'm Alemi from Yeo Botanica. Welcome back. Thanks so much for all the great participation in our channel and on our website, yeo.com, Y-E-Y-E-O. Today, we're gonna go through different colors in spirituality. We're gonna go through the different color candles that you see, why are they different colors? We're gonna talk a little bit about how they can be used and some of the benefits. Remember, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications. In the description box below, click that link to become a part of our exclusive YouTube family so you can find out about all the trainings and events as they come up. So let's get started on finding out about different color candles. So we see colors in nature, almost every color we've seen in nature in some way, shape or form. Right, we see flowers in different colors. We see the sun is in its own color. We see the sky changing in different colors. So the source or God has put this already for a reason. And so in working with different colors, it's really important to kind of understand a little bit about what those colors mean. So I'm gonna go through showing you different color candles and giving you an idea of not only how color is used, but how it's used in spirituality and candle work, right? So the first color that we all know is white. White is the color of purity, calmness, reverence. We use this on different altars. We see white candles in church, all different ways. And so if you kind of think about that, this is a catch-all color, right? In terms of it reflects all other colors. So you can put other colors in terms of candle magic. Those of you guys that prepare candles, you can use this color as a base for almost anything. So now yellow, yellow, another primary color. White is one, yellow is the other. There are four primary colors, white, yellow, blue, and red that we're gonna cover. Yellow, what color is yellow? The sun, right? The color of illumination. This is a color that's great for communication, speaking, someone kind of really catching what you're saying, or just communication in general. Fantastic color. Yellow's great also to add to legal work for court case. Yellow's a great color to bring up some attention to a situation, right? Yellow. In the yellow family, we find orange, one of my favorites, the color of success, right? So orange is a color of success. It's about um, bringing together more than one color, right? Because a little bit of red and yellow is here together. And red is a hot color, which we'll talk about in a minute, and yellow color for attraction and illumination, seeing something, right? Or um, being in touch with something, feeling something, right? Also eliciting emotion, why? Because the sun on you long enough, you're gonna feel it. So orange, the color of success, fantastic. Gold, so now we have orange and we have gold. It's considered as being gold. Well, gold is a fusion of orange and yellow. Again, these are around success, abundance, position. Well, gold, we know that gold people think about money. They think about opulence. They think about position. All of these different things, gold candles. And we do have in the store a yellow and gold, um, uh, excuse me, a gold and green candle. And that gold and green candle is for money drawing. Got that? So now we've got gold and we have green. We put them together. Money drawing, success. Green is a fantastic color because it represents growth, right? The leaves are green outside. We see leaves are green. Um, in the United States, money is green. Things that are growing are green. Vegetables are green. Things that add to our life, right? So the color green oftentimes is also used for open roads, opening things up, opening the path, opening the way. Right, so green is a fantastic color when you're trying to also get things started. So very, very good. Blue, blue is a great color for peace, for the home, for family, for matrimony, and things like that, 
right? You can find a long list in, online of all these different colors, what they mean. I'm just giving you guys a little taste. And I have included at the end for you guys a chart with all, just a little piece for each color candle. We have a chart that we're giving to you complimentary within our website, link below, right? So blue, fantastic color. You can also use these, not only for those purposes, but different deities. So white, we know that we could have used that for Obatala, for people who are in Orisha tradition, yellow for Oshun and other deities that deal with yellow, blue for Yamaya, the ocean deity, mother of the world, and other deities that deal with blue. Red. Well, the deity Shango, his color is red. Alegba, his color is red and black and so on and so forth. So red is a color of passion, movement, action, making things come to pass, right? Kind of making that breakthrough. It's also the color for love and um, sexuality, right? Things that are hot, things that are action oriented. This is not a passive color in any way. So when we use red, this is to kind of spur that action forward, right? So now we have pink. Pink is the color that's red and white put together, right? So we have the cool and we have the hot all together in one color. Pink is a great color for friendship, for sweetness, for if you're in a relationship and you're trying to like get things sweet again, whether it be with a friend, with a relative, with a child, with a lover. Pink is a great color for all of those kinds of relationships, but also it's a color of attraction in addition to, to kind of get things coming to you, to attract something to you. So you believe it or not, here's a little fun fact for those of you guys that are into candle work. You can use a pink candle for money drawing with a money drawing preparation. Remember that. So now we've got gray. Well, gray is a color that is black and white. So we're going to talk a little bit about black, but I love to use gray to unblock a situation. For those of you guys who've seen my return to sender video, that's with a gray candle. Right, so this is a fantastic color to use in terms of making certain types of breakthroughs, kind of getting in between the situation, unblocking uh, different kinds of situations that are going on. In addition to, it's also good for breaking gray. Purple, my man, hi John. Purple is also a color that's oftentimes associated with the Orisha Oya. And in addition to multicolor, but purple definitely is one. Purple is also a color that's used for the ancestors in addition to white. So fantastic color. Purple is the color of royalty, position. You're the head, you're the queen, you're the king, that kind of thing. Keeping you in position, keeping you in a position of royalty, of status. It's a great color for victory, fantastic color for victory. Love purple. And lastly today, we're going to cover black. So there are many people who go black. Black is always for hexing and it's for negativity. I don't agree. Why? Because many people have black hair or black eyes, right? So black is a color that is absorbing. It, yes, is used for aggressive work domination work, hexing, things like that. But black is also fantastic for a breakthrough. If people are feeling really stuck, we sell blockbuster candles that are black and white, right? So black is a great color to kind of break up uh, stagnant energy. It's really great for um, repelling any kind of negative work. So you can use it for negative work, but you can also use it to break negative work. And black is great for control. So I wanted to just give you guys a last little taste. This is an Elegua Eshu Alegba candle. His colors are red and black, two colors in one candle. 
This is a reversal candle, right? It says reversible on this side, face on this side, but either way, it's black and red. Again, remember what I said about aggressive breaking something. And see, this is why it says reversible. And red is action, 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 right? And this is about breaking. So now you see color candles in two different ways, flipped upside down. So again, if you think about the vibration of each one of these, this is one of the reasons why they make two color candles. And lastly, the sweet one that I love. You can use this for the ancestors, seven African powers and so on, which we'll do another video on. And you have all seven different colors here in one candle. So I hope you guys got some ideas, not only how to use colors in candles, but what do some of these colors really mean? Remember, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, join our mailing list, but definitely click that description box link below to get a complimentary color chart from you know who. So www.yayeo.com. See you next time. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, like us, share us with others, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, and come visit us in the store. Check us out on all social media. See you next time.